Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the uh, naming of the Lillian and Larry Goodman Open Apartments Program Ceremony. My name is, uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, is Professor Amos Drury, and I'm the Vice President for External Affairs at Ben Gurion University. I would like to welcome representatives of the uh, municipality of Beersheba, uh, our friends and associates of Ben Gurion University, and of course, Larry and his extended family, it's a great pleasure to have you all here. It is quite unusual for us to um, have a ceremony outside of the uh, university campus in the middle of one of the most vibrant avenues of Beersheba. But it is all about a very unusual individual, Larry Goodman, and the Lillian and Larry Goodman Foundation and Lillian, the past Lillian Goodman, were visionaries, have been visionaries and leaders in every aspect of the world. Larry has been devoting much of his time, energy and, and uh, uh, thought to Israel, to the Negev, to make Beersheba a better place and to help the university help Beersheba to be a better place. And it is so suitable that Larry has decided to put his name uh, behind this magnificent program, the Open Apartments program. The teaching of students about giving and about volunteering, it helps the uh, city of Beersheba become a better place. It helps the needy people and children in Beersheba to grow up in dignity and grow up in better condition. And it's a fantastic win-win program. And I'm sure the speakers who will come after me will have a few words to say about the program. So without any further delay, I would like to invite the president of Ben Gurion University, Professor Rivka Kami, to say a few words. Thank you, Amos. Good morning. This is really very unusual, but very, very exciting. And how appropriate for you, uh, Larry, who is a constant liaison between the university and the city. But more than anything, I said last night in the wonderful performance, which I'm, I'm, I hope mo most of you were there and, and were enjoying it tremendously. Uh, I said Larry Goodman, the patron of the arts, education, and more. And I feel out that, you know, if I have to count really what are the mores, I wouldn't end the evening. And I said, you know, one thing I really want to say is that I, that actually this is Larry Goodman, the super mayor, but you know, since Rubik was not he there, I didn't want it. I, I wanted to say to his face, not <laughs> behind his back. But definitely, definitely, uh, you are the inspiration. You are the inspiration of, uh, of Be'er Sheva, I would say, of the state of Israel. And you know, coming over there to Florida, uh, being led by you from one table to, table to the other at the, uh, at the club, saying, tell me, who is, what is the most important city in, in, in the world? And hearing all the people sitting there saying, Be'er Sheva. <laughs> That was really so exciting. Larry, what can I say? The only thing I can say, because other people will say it, that I miss Lillian. I think she would have loved to see us all here in the middle of the city, you know, with all the neighbors around here, uh, having another place uh, on her and yours name. And I very much inspired once again for your logo. I have to say it every time. The, the, the Lillian and Larry, two birds, two doves, incredible. Because you are too incredible now. The fact that the Lillian is not here is not significant because she's up there and she's seeing us and she's happy about what you are doing here in Beersheba. 
And I think that now, after so many years, uh, you are gathering the fruits, right? Last night, the inauguration of the seashore of Be'er Sheva. Wasn't that incredible? Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of all of our hearts. This is one of the harshest neighborhoods of Be'er Sheva, but you know, it's coming, coming up. You students, thank you very much. I really thank you for the bottom of my heart because this is, yeah, they definitely deserve an applaud, definitely. Because, because this is a very demanding, this is a very demanding kind of undertake. It is the flagship of our community involvement, but the work that they are doing there, it's not just being there giving eight hours or so during the week. It is working very, very hard and it needs so much dedication and devotion and they are but the best. Thank you very much, all of you, and all the best and what I wish you is good health so you can come again and again and make us happy. Thank you. Dear Larry and friends, it's wonderful to be here on this special occasion. 35 years ago, the Community Action Department started the Open Apartment Program. We wanted students to live in Be'er Sheva neighborhoods and be a bridge between the university, a prestigious ac academic institution, and people who never had access to the university before. We started with just eight apartments. Since then, over 2,500 students have gotten involved, benefiting over 50,000 residents. We now have 73 apartment the size of a small street. Goodman Fellows do so much. They run 100 clubs, organize the Adopt a Family Project and whole community activities such as clean up and painting days, field trips, summer camps and secondhand bazaars. The important thing is that they are living in the neighborhood and for the neighborhoods. Larry, you are deeply committed to Be'er Sheva and a major supporter of many projects. You helped to found the Open Apartment Program. We remember that. How fitting it is that this program that believes in the goodness of mankind will now bear the Goodman name. I now want to invite the coordinator and the res residents from the neighborhood to give you the spare keys to the apartment, just in case we lose ours. And please come and st stick by me. Yeah. <laughs> From North Gimel, I want to invite Mayan of Arbiv. Mayan. <laughs> and Chagid Barnes. From North Dalet, Shira Gabay and Tami Pelled. <laughs> From East Dalet, Miri Shitrit, Vestiato Shavot, Iris Fahima, Vesofi Hazan. So these are the spare keys. Thank you so from the bottom of our heart. Thank you. Okay. I'll carry this out. Larry, please stay. Uh, I hope you brought a nice suitcase because we are just, this is just the beginning. <laughs> and sit down? No, no, please stay. I would like now to invite again the president of the university, Professor Rivka Kami, to present Larry with a gift. A, uh, for those of you who can't see from a distance, the gift is, this is a crystal plaque that includes Hamsa overlay, a symbol that recognizes, that is being recognized as a sign of protection, represents blessing, safety, and strength, which is traditionally hung at the entrance of people houses in Israel. And the scroll reads, to Larry Goodman, on the occasion of the Lillian and Larry Goodman open apartments in appreciation of your friendship and support. It is just brought to our attention 
that Larry is celebrating his 90th birthday. And I'm leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a secret. I know, I know. But we thought this is a nice occasion you know, to reveal the secret. What, what they don't understand is right. there are four stages of life. There's infancy and the adolescence, middle age, and hey, you're looking great. <laughs> okay. You mean you are middle aged? Okay. So while you keep looking great, what we did was to plant 90 trees in the Ben Gurion University uh, forest uh, near Beersheba. And this is the uh, certificate for the trees planted. And we wish you many returns and good luck and good health for many many years to come first of all the most difficult thing about being in this community because this is the fourth event I've been in at the in the last two days As a matter of fact I haven't been here two days yet but there are four major events that I attended and one of the most difficult things is hearing the name Larry all the time uh, as a matter of fact Last night, I heard it so many times that I decided I'm going to change my name. And I was speaking after uh, Ruvik, the mayor. I don't know if any of you have heard him speak before. Dynamic speaker, something like Carmi. And uh, I've asked him before not to ask me to speak after he speaks. Because if you ever wondered what the definition of chutzpah is, that's to speak after Professor Carmi and Ruvik. Takes a lot of nerve to do something like that. Now, if you wonder <clears throat> exactly why I'm here, I never get an opportunity to take pictures with so many beautiful women. <laughs> and I knew I could accomplish that here. Now, Professor Dory said uh, I should take a few minutes, say a few words to speak. So I'm going to respect that, so I'll make a few remarks before I speak. Uh, I have to share something with you, because just a few days ago, I canceled my reservations to be here this week. And it was difficult to do that, but I had the flu, and the doctor said you shouldn't be flying. But uh, have you heard of migrating birds? who each season they must fly someplace. And I was at home and somehow I was like a migrating bird because you put a bird in a cage that usually migrates and they beat themselves to death trying to migrate, flapping their wings till they kill themselves. And I had that feeling when I was home. So from my home I called and had some help in making reservations to be here at the last moment. I'll tell you, from the moment I arrived here, I felt like a different man, and it feels real good, and Israel always makes me feel good. This is a place of extraordinary people. In all the world, there are not so many people like we have at Ber in Beresheva and at the university that permits you to participate with them in making history, because history is made in this place. We have a dynamic university, we have a great city, and together they move forward. Together they're fulfilling Ben Gurion's dream. He said that if the Negev, Beresheva, and the university are not developed, Israel will not reach its full potential. Well, I tell you now that we know that they are making it happen. Actually, I came here on this trip to thank Beresheva and the university for permitting me to participate with them in this great venture of building this community. And I'm very thankful for that. And I'm sure everybody here feels the same way because this is one of the only places really that you feel you can make a difference and you feel that the people in the community appreciate it. So I can't thank you enough for making all of this possible for me. Have a wonderful day. And remember, chutzpah is the name. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Larry.